Hello class, my name is Sebastian Morales and these are my teammates, Edward Gomez and Alexander Durant. We're team eight and we'll be presenting the boat engine uh, gearbox design. So our application uh, for our gearbox or transmission, transmission system will be for, uh, uh, for the boating industry. We're gonna use the boat engine and more specifically it's going to be applied to uh, smaller boats or uh, inflatable ones. So for the project description, we're supposed to come up with ideas and designs for a gearbox. And basically a gearbox is a set of gears um, for a given function to power. Most popular usage is for automotive transmissions. But as a team, we decided to go into the boat transmissions, mostly for the engagement and disengagement from the engine to the propeller. For the literature survey, we uh, found a, a specific product, similar product that we could apply for our gearbox to. In this case, we have a Lurk uh, 5 horsepower, uh, propane powered uh, outboard engine. Uh, more specifically, it can uh, full throttle, uh, throttle out between uh, 45 to 5500 uh, revolutions per minute. It has a 2.08 uh, uh, gear ratio. And uh, it's very similar to ours because our gearbox uh, intakes 5.5 uh, uh, horsepower. So before we completed our gearbox, we had to come up with some conceptual designs for it. We had to take into account the efficiency and cost uh, for certain uh, different types of gears. The different types of gears we came across were helical, warm, and a combination of bevel gears with spur gears. When we came across the worm gears, we there were a couple pros, but the cons were mainly the maintenance and lower efficiency, uh, the lower efficiency levels of worm gears. And for helical gears, the cons were, ma were mainly just that it was less efficient, and these are usually just used for high power applications, so they were a little bit more costly. So for our final conceptual design, we went with bevel gears with spur gears. Uh, it allowed us to have the high efficiency that we wanted, uh, uh, a good cost, and it was easier to maintain. Uh, our total cost for, our, uh, for this conceptual design was a total of $911. And for the structural design, we went with uh, bearings that were able to take loads of over 500 pound force. And we went with a, a Boston catalog uh, recommendation, but the bevel gears gave us a safety factor of 0.72. And our lowest safety factor for our spur gears was 1.04. Uh, what, re what we recommend for our, for the future is to be able to place the bevel gear last and the spur gears first so that they could have a lower ratio uh, to be able to through harden these bevel gears as well as to maybe provide a warm gear for for this uh, transmission gearbox and this is also the structural design of our gearbox <laughs> uh, one other part is the cost estimate. Here is actually 901. <laughs> and our, our most expensive part was the one of the spur gears here, which is our last spur gear, which actually has a pitch diameter of uh, 11 inches. So <clears throat> for the maintenance of uh, this uh, transmission, it's always safe uh, to check the transmission fuel uh, in less than, uh, than a year period. Uh, we have to check for overheating constantly, uh, and check for wear and breaking, and it's safe uh, to say that the ports should never be left open as this gearbox has to be sealed from water. Uh, in case water gets in, it's always uh, good uh, to clean the gearbox and check for any wear of the gear. So. So, we, so thank you, we conclude here, and we were able to choose the best applications for the gearbox. As we can see, we chose the bevel gear design. 
we were able to analyze our year ratio and able to determine a form of implementation, its efficiency, reliability, and most importantly, the cost. Thank you for your time and hope you enjoyed it.